What's up everybody? Blue Gabe. We got Kelly Young and look at this beautiful view. But to show you, I need to take off my glasses. Look at that. This is what we come to the Bahamas for. So that's Sandy K right there. That's where I planned on doing the cooking part of this video. But unbeknownst to me, today they're having a huge party there. So I'm gonna do something a little bit different than I've ever done before. We're gonna go and get a hogfish and a conch, which is literally soul food to Bahamians. And they actually think that the thistle in a conch is a miracle drug. It's good for your, you know, um, yeah. It's clear, it's unique, it's the male genitalia of a conch. And they eat it here and they literally think it's like this miracle drug. That's why they got so much babies. Yeah, that is, that, that is true. Our guide yesterday, Trick Daddy, had 10 kids, so it must work a little bit. We're gonna go, all in this area there's conch. Right here we actually stop because it's super glassy. We're gonna go right over there about a mile and get in and start looking for conch. And they're just crawling along on the bottom. And then we're going to go just outside of that and shoot some hogfish, maybe a grouper, maybe a parrotfish. I just wanted to stop right here and do our intro. We're in paradise. I bought this contender almost a year ago, a little bit less than a year ago, to be able to come over here to the Bahamas. It's 60 miles from Stewart Inlet. No, it's 60 miles from Jupiter Inlet to West End where we're at. It's 80 miles from Stewart Inlet. A lot of people on the West Coast, they run that far just to go fishing for the day. Here we can come over to the Bahamas. We're staying at Boodle Bay. Got an awesome chef there, beautiful hotel rooms. But today is all about doing a catch, clean, and cook out here on the boat. Then we're gonna go find a native, allow him to clean them, because they do it that, I'm not even gonna talk about it. I'm just gonna let you watch the footage of how they clean a conch. But first, we gotta go catch them. Got our chart right. Here's where we got all the hogfish yesterday for Kelly's video and the uh, lobster. So we're gonna go get in that area and give it a shot. didn't take long we were running for less than a quarter mile and we already found a lobster trap aka lobster condo right here babe slow down you see those two boxes right there that's called a lobster condo using my cast net rope for a drag rope typically we would use a ski rope but I don't have one Oh, Lord have yeah. mercy. Define what loaded means to the fans at home. Loaded, it means it's completely full of lobster. Like you can't even see the, like the entrance in the back. Like I need to anchor up? Yeah, it'd be fun. All right. Let me check the other side. Which way is the current going? Uh, I think you're swimming into the current. It's going that way. All right, I'll anchor up real quick. Dude, the one thing about this boat, this anchor is so heavy. You don't want to deal with it a lot like I do the one of my black cat. This anchor weighs like 30 pounds. And you don't get a prettier day than today. And we're on island time. Let's do this!
is only a quarter of them. How does it get any prettier than this? I know. So Kelly saw some big triggers swim up while she was down there. I actually rang a couple of lobsters, twisted their heads off and cleaned them. And I put on a piece of conch that we cleaned last night on a little circle hook on really light line. I almost stand no chance of landing this huge fish. This is one of Bahamian's favorite fish to eat and it's mine too. Big ocean tallies, big trigger fish. Using my little old salty from Favorite. It's like my bluegill rod. And this is a big fish. You're the pulling. Yeah. I have like six pound test leader on here. <laughs> what an incredible day. I've waited for this day for so long. Fish is pulling. in the water swimming with him. Anytime you're using real light line, just let your drag do the trick. Let him go if he wants to go. It's a big one, huh? This is where I'm gonna lose him if I'm gonna lose him. Right at the boat, because they have such sharp teeth. Oh no, don't break him. There he is, folks at home. A beautiful gray ocean tally. I used the circle hook, which it should have hooked him in the corner of his mouth, but this thing must have been hungry because he completely swallowed it. That's how easy it broke, one shake. Look at that, folks at home. Let's see if I can get this barracuda for the dude on the dock. Oh, 
Oh goodness. Gabe's about to go for a ride if he shoots this thing. I'm gonna pull this in real quick. That way, if I gotta get to him fast, I don't have to worry about this rope. You, you did not stone him. Well, uh, are you for real? With the pole spear. Were you still recording? I was like, oh, I'm gonna pull in this rope just in case I gotta swing and go get him real quick because barracudas are crazy. And of course you just stone it. <laughs> of course. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, right through the noggin. That's a huge one. You were planning on shooting that with a full spear? Jeez Louise. Well. And this is a good one too because it's nowhere near coral. Coral's where they get the cigatera from. Look at that. Oh, hello. We're just having quite the day. Like, why would a barracuda just randomly swim up to me out here? And you stone it perfectly, no hassle. Getting a tip out might be Getting a little tip tricky. Out. It's Every definitely time. gonna be hard. Yeah. Let's see if you can pull this off. What are the odds of you stoning it? Babe, I stone about three quarters of stuff I shoot here. <laughs> you mean what are the odds? Pretty dang good for him. <laughs> Y'all are gonna see one happy dude when we get back to the dock. Let's see how we're gonna get this out though. He didn't even twitch. It's always a good feeling. Big one too. There you go. Oh, nice and stinky. Look at the teeth. Switch. Let's get the good lighting. Look at the teeth on that thing. Right there. All right. Let's probably need to bleed him out real quick. I'd imagine. Yeah, let's do it. Make sure we get some sharks jumped up around here. Ooh. Should get him too. Hungry. Empty stomach. How long do you think it'll take to get the ocean tellies to find that? Not very long. This is a perfect size for him to eat too. Not too big. Not too small. We need the hose. So we just moved to about 27 foot of water. We were here last night, but it started to get too dark to film. Conk everywhere. But there was a lot of small ones. I want to pick through the small ones and find some of the big ones, like five or six. I think that's all we need. So let's go. <laughs>
check out this beautiful conch right here see how it has the big flare on it that's what you're looking for they're all edible the smaller ones like this are just smaller but I think he'll still do I mean we don't need a ginormous meal look at this beauty right here man they're pretty so we're gonna take six I'm actually gonna turn this one right here back loose. Just a little too small. When they get down there, they'll turn over just like a normal snail would. All right. We'll see y'all back at West End. So we just pulled up here to West End. We got Ashton Kutcher right here. He, he said that was his name back in the States. He is standing on a pile of these conch. It's insane how many and I just left a spot catching them where there was hundreds of them on the bottom. Okay. Either way, every day. So, he's an expert at cleaning conch. He's going to actually get in the boat. I thought I would swing over to the pile enough, but you might have to get wet. Yeah, man. It's no problem, man. But all your girlfriends are going to see you now. Yeah. Hopefully. <laughs> we don't have very many, though. Where's a cutting board? You say. You say. You say. Hey. You done got all the tools, man. You got your hammer. Yeah, I cleaned a couple last night, but it whooped me. Okay. The getting them out of the conk part's not. Oh, he was coming out. The getting them out of the conk part's not the hard part. It's cleaning them. Do you do it with your teeth? To take the slough off? No, man. That's that's old school, though. Come on, man. When I grew up coming over here, them old boys would grab it with their teeth. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's old school. So do you school now, we use a knife. We use a knife. Hey, this is your party. We're just here. I want to see how you do it. Got you, man. How old are you? I'm 28. You born and raised here? Born and raised right here in West End, man. Did a little high school in, in the States. Make a little hole right there. Yeah. Take a knife. Usually use a table knife, but it comes right out. <laughs> comes right out. I fought one of them yesterday. You know how I got the first one out? I oh. beat the whole shell out. Oh, all around. I couldn't oh. get him out. I mean, you see how clean it is? That's the now, pistol. That's the, the pistol. Here, here's the, why do y'all, what do y'all think this is so special for? What is it in? Man, all the fellas say that's like the demon Viagra, man. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever ate one, Kelly? No. Never? Tastes good, man. Have you ever good. ate one? Yeah, all the time. Like a salty gummy bear. <laughs> I've been coming here for 40 years and have never had one. 
like a salty gummy bear. It tastes just like the conch. Yeah, man. Hmm, that's interesting. I've always been scared to try it. And I said when we were coming here from where I caught them, I'm like, I just got a man up and try it. Yeah, man. So now what do you do? So now. If you don't, no, no. if y'all have never cleaned, I don't, hold on one sec. If you've never cleaned one, these things are slippery and slimy. Just, and this is his eyeballs right, right here. Right, right, This is eyeballs. So now what? This is feed here. It's the feed where they crawl with. It's also a weapon. A weapon? Yeah. What's he fighting? Whenever like fish come try to get to him inside the shell, he barked him away with this right here. Huh. The horn, they call it the horn. It's the slop. This is good for fish bait. Yeah, we're going to save it. I got a bag big. full of it already. Hold on. You can keep going. You do what you got to do. All right, this is how you slop it. Take that slop off. You don't want to eat that slop though. The fish love it though. It's the slop. Just the red radio. Love this piece right here. The red. Call it the conch red. You see that in conch fritters and stuff. Yeah. The conch fritters, they use the whole thing. They, the, the, this piece right here, the skin, the conch, everything, they cut it up. Pretty good, man. That's how you skin it. You take the skin off. Just knock it right off. That's the hardest part. I was so hoping yeah. you were going to do it with your teeth, like the old school guys. And then, that's the belly right there, with the guts and all that. You want to eat that part too. But it's all good for bait. Yeah, man. Muttons, hogfish, everything will eat that. And it's really hard to get off the hook, so you can actually fish really well with it. Yeah, mutton love it. How crazy is this, this pile clean, of conks? Clean conk right there. Just put it right in your mouth. Squeeze some lemon pepper. Eat it just like that. Perfect. You eat it raw? I eat it raw sometimes. It's not bad. It tastes pretty sweet. It's I real usually, crunchy. I usually put a little sour pepper on it, make a little corn salad. You hear how crunchy it is? Yeah, y'all like eating it raw the most in like a yeah, ceviche, yeah. right? Yeah, like a ceviche. I want to make some cracked conch tonight. Well, you're going to need that CM armor right there. Bruiser, yeah, I got it. Bruiser. So I was going to have a Bahamian cook it for me tonight, but they're all going to some party. What party is that? It's a sail away. A sail away? We have a sail away going on right now. I mean, right there is... Sandy boatloads of them going that away. That's yeah. where we were going to cook first with Sandy. All right. And I pulled up, I'm like, nope, we can't do that. <laughs> Let's show them one more real quick. Show I want to get in more. detail and get the camera close when you do this. Come here right here and show them. So there's little ridges, one, two, and three. Do you hit it here or here? You hit it on the second one. Oh, the second one. Yeah, right so Watch him right here. You catch it right there. I don't know how you've never cut yourself. All the time. It's knife right up. So what are you doing right now? Detaching him? Yeah, you take him from around the shell right up. Around the, this piece right up. Yeah. You just want to stick him down. Once you get the, the knife right there onto the shell, you just stick him down. Huh. And you just come right up. Press it right there. Your favorite. You want it, babe? No. Come on. Look here, folks. You see this fine young man right over here in the red hat? This morning, as I drove by him, he asked me to oh, get him. He asked me to get him a barracuda. How you doing, buddy? We got you a barracuda and right. then some. I'm doing some. I was working out. I was doing some cleaning. You know, I forgot that. Hey, we got you a barracuda. Yo, thanks. Thank you very much. Give me five for that, man. Right here, buddy. All right. Listen here, and my girlfriend doubted me too. She didn't think I could stone it with a pole spear. You mean that pretty lady? <laughs> oh, I got it. I got it. I know. How you I, got all that energy at your age? I, all I got is energy. What yeah. about? 30? I I I, I do 150 push up every morning. I used to lift weight. Feel in the back here. Ooh, don't I don't do I just that do, too much in front I, of Kelly. I, just, I don't feel up to that. I just do 100 just I just have to keep in shape. I'm an old man. That's why I told my brother. My brother's 65, you see your stomach, he get on him, I ain't get no stomach. You see these guns right here? Yeah. You should see. I didn't take my shit off one and show, show you the, the inside guy. <laughs> I, I, got, I, got, I, I, got, I got a little jet, yes. I do about 200. Come here. Yes. 
Yes, man. Let me show you what we got. Yo. No, I, I see serious. I used to live by. I work in the keys. I, I mean, I was I, 90 pounds. I used to live baguettes. Uh, Heavy you know, baguettes. You like trigger oh, fish? Oh, wow. That's my buy. My grandfather like that. You like snapper? Yes. I appreciate it, man. What's this? That's my, oh, that's my homeboy. <laughs> that's I saw a homeboy. That's my homeboy there. Take a picture of me. My homeboy. I will. Hey, come here. You eat, um... Hey, that homeboy. You eat mackerel? Yes, man. Put it here. That's my home ball. Thank you. Wow, you got some good lobster. How hey, old I'm, are you? Um, I know. I born in 1948, 6 of April. Woo! That's a happy man right there. He's a character. No, uh, <laughs> no man, I, I, I've been around. I was working when I was um, 14. I've been in my school, I school in grade 6. The teacher beat me one time with a cane. I was so smart. I tell the teacher, man, thank you, man. I go on. She beat you with a cane? Yeah, yeah beat, you know, the teacher them always told key, not a lady, a man. Put you across the desk. They need to start doing that with kids again. Yeah, but at those days, when I was growing up, you need to beat the kids. And my, my, my uncle gave him hell, boy. The teacher would do that. He down there, six feet. Oh. My uncle, my uncle said, come, son. Pow, dead. My uncle was in New York. Don't bother me, sister, son. Huh. Mm. I don't want to mess with your uncle. That's long. Long time ago. And you I was, got some ice? I'll, yeah, I got ice. Okay, good. I'm gonna put this you in gonna the eat these or just give them all away? Who? You. And this is for me. This, all these <laughs> is mine, but I, I can give this part. Which part is of your it. favorite? All these. This. Trigger fish. My girlfriend like that. And if she's pretty, if pretty crazy, she won't even get out and give it to my other girlfriend. I gotta now don't it. tell her you went out there and speared it on your own. I don't talk. <laughs> I still don't give a why I said. It's still alive. That's why I've been on walking skiing for 34 years. I don't know. I see those evil. All right. Well, have a good night. I'm glad yeah, I can I, hook I you up. I appreciate this very much. I thought about you as soon as I saw it. I you didn't want to disappoint you, you. I told you when I was right there this morning, I'm going to put it in the freezer. Well, it sure is nice to meet you. Yes, sir. When you come again, you'll meet me right here if I be living. Hey. Like, how about the good Lord? I had some other friends came in the day. Yeah. They, um, they're supposed to get this house, but they come on Friday. I wish everybody on the planet was as happy as you. All, all the time. I'm a baby, from a baby. I work on walkers when I was 16, till age of, I work on 24 years. See, they came back and bring the key. Just the key for the house. They, they, and then they say they come back because they're supposed to get the house this week. And they say they all bought all my stuff. See, they bought this um, three weeks, three, three months ago. They bought a couple, I like short pants. They bought it. And the, girl, the girlfriend buy me on the grass hat. You know the cap? Yeah. Grass all over it. Marijuana then. Marijuana inside it, all, all that. Oh, marijuana. Yeah, right. Uh, Y'all don't, don't even ask me for subtitles. I'm trying to understand him. <laughs> Bahamians have their see, own see, little bit of a I have one of those hats too. The, I'm the, listening and watching your lips the guy, at the, the same guy, time. The, I talk fast. The guy is driving the ambulance. You know, the parity ambulance in, in the fire when Fatman? Yeah. And, and there's a police law with him, but he ain't a police. But, they works together, they're two first cousins. And they, they, the guy gave me the hat. I got the same kind of hat. All right, well, we will see you soon. Yeah. Have a good night. Oh, yeah, man. I'm getting out of these no -seams. Oh, man, very did your bite. They're bad. They probably don't bite you. They're a little no. stinger would break off. What do you mean? I, I, I just let them bite. I just let them feed. Yeah. Let them feed. <laughs> but they don't mess my skin up. Yeah. All right. But why am I going to go to bed and start singing? Well, it was good seeing you. We'll talk soon. Thank you. Yeah, man, anytime you, anytime you come over, just look me up. I'll always bring I'll you fish, up. don't worry. I hope I'll be off and go fishing with you. You can come with me anytime. Right. Now I'll show you some drops. Thank you. Okay. Have a nice day. Thank you very much. I love old fellers like that. Now, for those of y'all that were watching and trying to understand him, that dude's so high on life, so excited. I wasn't even going to try to slow him down from talking. I was really paying attention to his lips and trying to catch what he was saying, and I got about 64% of what he said. Did I you got, understand him? Yeah, I got like 90% of what he said. So. Okay. That dude right there had some energy. And his stories. He had this story to this story to this story. From what I got, it sounded like his teacher when he was six years old beat him with a cane and his uncle killed the teacher. Did I hear that part right? Um, he said, my I uncle heard... said, step aside, boy, pow. I thought he said his uncle somewhere in New York. He said after know. that, he, then he said my uncle. I don't know if his uncle got shot or if the uncle shot someone. <laughs> that's, that's for another video.
In the comments below, let us know. <laughs> yeah, in the comments below, let us know what you got out of that story. I got, he got beat by Cain when he was six and his uncle killed the teacher. We are in the Bahamas, boy. Like I, I have a cool story real quick while we're just telling stories. Aubrey and my dad were over here probably in the late 80s. And I'll never forget, they needed a taxi to go somewhere. No, Aubrey and Dad were in a taxi because Aubrey's 12 years older than me. Britos, Robert's four years older, Aubrey's 12 years older. And Dad and Aubrey were riding down here in a taxi cab. And they saw a guy down the road in front of them standing in the road and he had a huge machete. And he was either sharpening it or flipping it in his hand. I remember my dad and Aubrey telling me, we're not gonna like stop for this guy, are we? Not only did the taxi guy stop, but he let him in the car with him. I don't know the rest of the story, but I remember Aubrey saying he didn't know what that dude was gonna do with that machete. But they lived, because Aubrey's the ripe old age of like 65, I think. No wait, I'm 29, he's 12 years older than me. He's in his young 40s, I think. All right, we'll see y'all in the kitchen. The no get out really bad here this time of night. Bring some bug spray. We're just coming early or coming after dark. As soon as it gets dark, they're gone. So before I take it in the kitchen, I got to do the most important part. Watch how it goes from a solid chunk and then all of a sudden it just breaks loose. Boom, just like that. If you didn't do that, you couldn't eat it. Now it will just fall apart in your mouth. So if you watch the first video when we got here in this series, the chef is such an awesome woman, but she's super shy. She hates being on camera. Yes. Have I told you lately that I love you? What are you doing with this? I'm taking this camera off. Can you say hi to all your fans? I don't have any, any of your time. friends, family that you know might want to see your beautiful face? No. Everybody on here already left a comment and said you're the most beautiful Bahamian woman out here. So you gotta at least say hi to everybody. Hi. <laughs> I'm very shy. Alright, I'm leaving it with the pro. Next time let you see this call. When you see let me explain something to you. This here? Yeah. I did something wrong, didn't I? Yes. See this hair, this hair, this one's full. This hair is cut, so you take that off. Okay? How come women can't ever give men just credit of doing it right? No, you're not, because men, you <laughs> always take shortcuts, so. In my defense, I paid a Bahamian boy over there to clean it for me. And guess what, when I have conch hair, do you know what I tell them? Huh. I'm gonna show you. I tell them, do not give me my conch. Unless it is. Oh, you're bringing it out of the freezer. This is how I have my conch. See, this is it. This is conch for me. That there with the red on it, these get. He said this was the best part. This is the best part for conch salad, oh. not crack conch. Well, I Which know you're busy. You got people to cook for. Yes, I I'll do. I'll see you when it's done. Thank you. You're welcome. I got to bring you an air conditioner in here. It's hot. Oh, no, it, it got to be. If you can't stand the heat, stay out of the kitchen. Y'all hear what she just told me? If you can't stand the heat, stay out of the kitchen. I'm getting out of the kitchen. That there is an awesome woman. Y'all look at this. This is the final product. Oh gosh. It's fresh. Darn, that's hot. Ooh. Get you a little nugget that's not so hot. Crazy for conch. That's because I beat it to death. Mm -hmm. Got us a nice little salad with some balsamic vinaigrette, some black beans and rice, some mac and cheese. Kelly already probably practically ate all of it. I only had two little bites. I even barely touched it. It was a little bit. <laughs> it's hot in my mouth. Mmm. So we can be honest about conch right now. Conch isn't something that 
you're like, oh, it just tastes so wonderful. You can make it taste good, but it conch itself tastes like nothing. Like it's just conch. Yeah, it's not like fish that has a texture. I don't even know how to say what I'm trying to say, but conch just tastes like nothing. Conch tastes like whatever you cook it in. But it is good. It's neat. It's a snail. It's a lot better than escargot. I know that. Mm. It does have a good texture. That's why people make conch fritters. Yeah. Just, it's just like a neat additive. But like today when we cleaned it, I bit a chunk of it off. It almost tastes like like nothing. Like has a little sweet taste to it. It's hard for me to put it in words what it actually tastes like. It's not bad though. <sighs> We're tired. We've been going for three days straight. We filmed a lot of videos, caught a lot of fish, shot a lot of fish. Kelly got in today in 35, 38 foot of water by herself. And there's bad sharks over here. Shot her, that's one of your biggest hogfish with a pole spear, isn't it? Yeah. By herself. I was driving the boat. Yesterday we filmed a video for her channel. We had a guy named Trick Daddy who's a local here with us who helped out with driving the boat. So we were able to get in and watch each other's back. That's it though. We gotta go home in the morning. We gotta get the kids from school tomorrow night. Tomorrow evening. I don't know. We'll be frogging, hog hunting, all kinds of things. A lot of y'all have been asking me about hog videos. It's just so hot this time of the year. It's coming though, don't worry. We got all winter to hog hunt, deer hunt, and whatever else we're gonna hunt. I'm going elk hunting. We're definitely coming back here. I gotta get the kids' passports. We're gonna bring Kelly's mom and dad and all of them back over here and her brother, my family. Right now though, this video's ending. You watch us catch, clean, and cook some beautiful conch. We got a two-hour ride home tomorrow. And that's it. Thanks for watching.